Previously, we have learned that the spectral resolution is partially decided by the line density of a grating. But what does the number stand for? Today, I will explain how a grating works. The job of a grating is to disperse the Raman scattered light onto the CCD detector by deflecting each wavelength at a different angle. This is achieved by a line pattern on the grating which diffracts the incoming light. The reason lies in the wave character of the light and the fact that at certain angles of emergence from the grating, there is constructive and destructive interference depending on the wavelength. At this point, it should be mentioned that the exact theory behind operating principle of a grating leaves many graduate physics students scratching their heads. But what you really need to understand is that if you increase the number of lines in a defined area, an angular dispersion of light increases too. As the individual wavelengths are now spread across a larger area on the CCD, this allows us to detect more details. In other words, by increasing the line density, we have also improved the spectral resolution and narrowed the detected spectral range. Now, it is obvious why the line density is the most important parameter of a grating and it is usually measured in line per millimeter. In the next video, we will explore the function of the grating further and explain how to select the optimal grating.